guys, Kenny Santucci back with the Fit Aid Morning Show. This time, Jackie had to take a little break, so I brought my main man in, Aaron Hines. Aaron? Hey, I'm not nearly as cute as Jackie, but, you know, you got to make do. So uh, here I am. He's doing, he's doing his part. And we have a very special guest right now, the Jason Layden, number two team in the entire world. Give us a little background as to, uh, you know, how, how do you create the number two team in the entire world? And is that a big burden to carry now? Um, how, how much time do we have, I guess, is the question. You know, I think, I think from a team perspective, it comes into just having people completely buy into that where it can't be individuals. You, you, you almost see it from, like an, from a special forces operation where you have to be willing to, to die and lay yourself on the line, not for you, but for the person next to you. And once you can get a collective group of people who are willing just to go as far as they possibly can and then search for something more for the person next to them, that's when you can get a really good team. And the second you can get everybody to buy into that and embody that and kind of like live that throughout the training and, and the, the time together, that's when they can really mesh. Because it's, it's, yes, you need talent and you need all these different different attributes as a team but that's the like, like the deciding factor who can mesh well who has the bonds who knows how to coach each other out there who can pick each other up when they're they're feeling like just completely beat down like that they got punched in the face and and who has that unity um so that's a big focus of ours with our teams when putting a team together and we see it all the time in professional sports they put these super teams together the yankees have done it the lakers have done it they always put all these huge names uh names together and you expect them to be the best team and they kind of fall short from a crossword perspective do you think the same thing kind of happens like maybe one person's a little too egotistical do you think it's better to build a team up or is it better to try to put one of these super teams together yes uh, no, I think uh, so I think uh, a, a key is what you're gonna see is when you can get really good athletes who can forget about the self accolades who can forget about Instagram followers who can forget about how many likes they have in their posts who can forget about sponsors and when you get really good athletes people who are so well-rounded and you can get them just to focus just on each other person and the team itself that's the teams that are going to crush it so if you look at hacks pack that's one thing that hacks pack was so dominant as when they won like the two or three years in a row is that those guys are like in it for each other and that's all it was and they just completely lived that yeah you can have super teams and they do well and they make the games but once you make the games and you get to the games, you need that extra. You need that one more inch that's gonna get you over the hump. You know, when you're sitting there like you can't give any more and you're just completely exhausted. And I think that's what you're gonna that's who you're gonna see keep coming out on top. What are your predictions for the uh, games this year? Are you guys gonna come back strong this year? How are you feeling about this year's team? I feel great. I mean, that's our plan. We lost Kalina, obviously, who was a huge part of our team. She moved down here to Miami, but our team was in it from the beginning this year. So, you know, once we got done, we were already kind of on gear. Throughout the regionals, uh, my head coach, myself, so Colin Garrity, myself, we already taking notes and planning for this year. My plan is to be right there again, you know? Break down how you would give a workout to the second place team in the world. Like, how do, how do you program? Lots of our people do um, individual programming with myself. Okay, so Colin's our gymnastics guy. He works at Power Monkey. He's the creator of the Monkey Method. So Colin has each person on an individual strict gymnastics program, which is like three days a week, to really build up that foundation, that strength, and to build upon all the other skills that can come from that. From there, uh, they all kind of go into lots of weightlifting, and, and I can show lots of coaches on that, but I base the program out. We talk with uh, Mike McKenna and Mike Cerebus and other weightlifting coaches, and then we get into conditioning. So kind of there's a big staff at Milford that works with all athletes, from Chris Henshaw to myself to Colin to weightlifting coaches to physical therapists to Pretty much what we've done is we created a place where we can kind of like breed athletes and keep athletes feeling fresh the whole time. So that's kind of like the short answer of it. What would you say to competitive athletes out there that want to make a run at the games and, you know, are considering, OK, I've got some opportunities to go team, but I also have a chance to, to go individual. Like what factors into that decision? Because it's a pretty big decision to make. It's a huge decision. And I, I think they got to follow their heart. You know, I think people are getting swayed too much. It's kind of like what you're going, what's your focus. They need to sit down with a coach that would legitimately be like, yeah, you can make the regionals, but you're probably not going to make the games. If you make go on a team, you can make the games. Because um, the sport, this sport of CrossFit, it's to make the games. The percentages are like smaller than making like a professional base baseball team. You know, it's just like it's it's crazy. So that makes sure you get proper advice and the right advice. Not someone's just kind of out for themselves. Someone's out for you as an athlete. And don't skip the small things trying to be sexy. It's not about stacking all these crazy workouts together and trying to do all this fancy stuff. It's skipping the necessary stuff that you're going to need to build upon that in the future. You gotta be willing to do work. Like it's a ton of sacrifice and it's a ton of hard work, but this is not professional sport. And if you wanna make the top professional sport, that's your life. Jason, thank you so thank much you. for stopping by. Aaron, thank you so much for filling in.